But before that, I want to make sure that everyone has the right, uh, you know, uh, what's it called? The right environment in the Kali Linux. So let's do a few things in Linux. So if you have your machine, you know, run it as we are doing these commands. So the one thing I want to do right away is <clears throat> I want you to what? To create an account in your own name because I will not accept anything that says Kali at Kali. Guess why? Because every one of us is Kali at Kali, right? So what I want you to do is to create another account. Remember, Linux is a multi-user what operating system. So you can have you know, another 10, 15, 20 you know, users, okay? So we're gonna go and do a different users. I think I, I was changing my, uh, what is it, my uh, slides. So look for the ones where it uh, says uh, create other users. So you might not have the same number, but it, it should be around the same number. So here is how we're gonna do it, right? So we're gonna do a user add. We're gonna do a user mod. Sometimes you can combine them together. It just, for some reason, that's the way I did it. And then we're gonna put the shell, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, a startup shell with those three commands. So I want you to do those three commands with your first name, initial, and last name. So in my case, it's MK Kuwaiter. So, you know, if it is uh, Alexa Gonzalez, right, she's gonna put A Gonzalez, or if she wants, she can put a Alexa, then her middle initial, and then Gonzalez. The same for Carlos Avila, the same for Tyler, the same for uh, Julia, okay? So the way we do it is, of course, if you want to do man, you know, user add, you can look at the user add, right? And it shows you what a user add does. Essentially, it allows you to create a new user or update default new user information. I think I'm doing a, a, a dash M, dash M and the name. Why dash M? Because that is the option, right? That does home directory, if I remember, let me go F. I like to use the F, okay, yeah, create home directory. All right, so we're gonna uh, go to our, all right, so we can exit Q, and you can do sudo, make sure you put a sudo. What was it, user add, right, dash M, and I'm gonna do MK Kuwaiter. I don't know if I did it or not, I don't remember, honestly. And enter the, you know, uh, the password for Kali. And at this stage, I created the user. I'm still in Kali, but a user for MK Kuwaiter was created. So the next thing we're gonna do is we wanna make sure that that user, that user, I, let's kill this one, bye-bye, save this one. Okay, and, and the user, and we're gonna modify, right? by adding the user to the pseudo and to the group. Like, because otherwise it's gonna be a user without the privileges. So that's what this command does. So user mod dash a dash g pseudo and mk quieter. So pseudo, right? User mod, right? And we say dash, what was it? Dash, uh, was it modify? Uh, dash a dash g sorry so dash a for append dash g for the group and what follows is the name of the, the group you're going to add the, the person to so we're going to add mahmoud to sudo and to his own what a group so now and it's not going to ask you for the sudo again because remember the sudo stays active for roughly 15 minutes all right, so this is done. The only thing is we're gonna also add the startup uh, shell, which is, you know, usually we want it to be the, uh, the, <clears throat> the bash. So the last command I have, which is chsh, which is change shell dash s, and then uh, the location of your what, of your shell. Remember, that's why we started with the slash bin at the one level. That is where a lot of the good commands, the binaries are at. And one of them is the bash. So we're gonna do chash, right? So sudo ch change sh shell, 
minus s slash pin slash uh, what was it uh, dash right for who for mk coil and i'm done so at this stage right i can say 